Guys, I think we should just leave it like this. This is good. <laughs> this is a good look. Oh, really good. Welcome. So while I was editing this video, I was initially just going to do my little update for three months, but I had all this cool footage on my iPhone from when I actually had the procedure done. So if you want to watch the update, it's going to be the first little part of this video. But then if you want to watch the day of and what it was like to actually experience going to Istanbul and getting a hair transplant, stick around to the end of the update and then you'll see my iPhone footage from actually going through the process. Hey there, Michael O'Neill here with my three month update from my hair transplant at Dr. Sinex in Istanbul. This is what it looks like after three months. Uh, it's coming in pretty well. You know, uh, if you look directly overhead, you can see it's, it's kind of thin, but if you're in like kind of regular light like this, just like normal light, looks pretty good. You know, most people can't tell that I had any sort of hair transplant. Um, if you have directly overhead light, it still feels kind of thin. One thing I hadn't noticed as I was researching this is that it's really itchy. Like it can get really, really itchy. Um, and then you get a lot of ingrown hairs. And I used to complain about the ingrown hairs until I was like, wait a second, those are hairs. So I was actually really excited to get ingrown hairs. It means like things are actually working and it's coming up. Now, most people can't tell I had a hair transplant unless I say something, but I like to think of it like I'm unbalding. So instead of balding, I'm unbalding. Um, a buddy of mine is about six weeks ahead of me in, in this process and he's, he's really, his hair really got thick. So I'm looking forward to that, but right now I feel really good about it. I think it's great. Right now, no downsides to the process. I did my procedure on June 7th, 2021. By December 7th, uh, I should be pretty good, be six months in and it should be pretty full. And of course, by a year, they tell you that you should be, you know, rocking your old boy band haircut again, which I'm really excited to do. Um, my only complaint right now, and I think that will go away as more hair grows, is the line is still pretty uh, uh, harsh. You know, it's still pretty aggressive. It's just like a line right there. But I think as some of the hairs fall out, as all the other hair comes in and starts curling around, I, you know, you don't really notice that hairline unless I've got my hair like fully spiked or back or something like that. So great, super psyched about the whole thing. Um, I think it came out great. Very well worth the trip all the way to Istanbul because they really took care of me there. And uh, that's it so far. Any questions you guys have, hit the DMs. If you've not seen the first video yet of the whole procedure and the process, go watch the first video on this channel. And Greetings from Istanbul. I'm here in Turkey and my procedure is tomorrow. I connected with Dr. Sinek here in Istanbul and worked it out. And uh, I had the world's toughest trip to get out here because it's COVID and things are challenging in that realm. But I'm here, my procedure is tomorrow, and I'm excited about it. So I have here, let me show you guys something kind of cool. Sort of as a joke, I brought these pictures from my old band photo shoot. Look at the locks. Look at the locks on that kid. Uh, and so you can definitely see the, the hairline difference happening right there. And then another one. Although I did have a, a quite a bit of a hairline. You know, it, it sort of ran up like that, but when it was that thick, it didn't really matter. So that is looking at me. Anyway, so I'm told that they can bring that back. Procedure is, I think they shave most of my head, or I guess they shave my head, then remove four to, four to 6,000 follicles individually from the back of my head, and then they will put them in the front of my head. So basically they, they kind of draw a line of where your new hairline's gonna be. And mine will be somewhere like that. It'll, it'll probably go like this somehow, right? In that vicinity. And then they literally like plant them. Uh, like you're pulling and planting a palm tree or something. What I'm told is the initial implants will eventually fall out, but then you'll have fresh hair because this hair on the back uh, continues to grow. It doesn't, it doesn't bald like the other hair. So the, my hairline will sort of be a permanent thing. Now I do know some people get a couple of these done uh, instead of just one. So I don't know, hopefully one will take with me. Again, my hair is so thick that, you know, maybe I'm a prime candidate, I hope. Um, but uh, anyway, so they do that. And 
within a year or so, you have like a pretty substantial full head of hair. In LA, I priced out how much this procedure would be and they wanted $6 per follicle. So per one removal and one plant it was $6. You generally need, like I'll need between four and 5,000 follicles. So you're talking about a $25,000 uh, procedure in, in the States. Whereas here, it's cheap enough that you can buy a business class ticket and still, you know, I'm probably in and out for five grand, uh, including all the travel and all the expenses. All right, dudes. Uh, I'm off to the hair place. This will be the last time my hair looks like this ever, I guess. You know, because it'll grow in weirdly and differently than this. But uh, yeah, there we go. Here it is. Let's go. So I'm here in the clinic. They've given me an IV for PRP treatment. And um, I guess, I don't know if they're going to be too many meds. Maybe they'll put me out or something. I should probably know more about this procedure. Um, anyway, I'm in the waiting room. We're going to figure out where to put this and then uh, then I guess they shave my head which is gonna be crazy balls I've never had that in my life um, and then we're off to the races all right so I'm getting my consultation uh, is it cynic or cynic 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 this is dr. cynic who's how done many how many of these sorry how many have you done how many Great number. I did this just like more than 15 years I am doing everyday operation except Sunday there's an art to it, isn't there? This thing that we're doing right now is where the art is. Yeah, we'll to make it look art. natural. This and... is the most important part. We yeah. check before the, this is the, the generally we look want at, the... Look at that handsome fella. He is very handsome before. Jeez, now, what happened? <laughs> what happened to this hair? Yeah, uh, exactly. I want the before pictures because I want to know how it looked before. We will do the similar like this hairline and uh, I will check his hair, and then we will do the hair line style. Yeah. Let's do it. What about this? Where's your surgery? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on there? This is not a good look. He should have a huge head of hair. We will, we will. Jeez, <laughs> what's going on here? So, we have actually done some real measurements, yeah. which I had been thinking of. I have this old picture, and I thought, why don't we measure the picture and then scale it to my real head. And, and like probably a lot of you will do, my initial instinct was to bring it lower than it probably should be. Uh, hairlines, you know, are higher than we all think. We all wanna be like down here, but that's not the way to go. Um, his initial instinct, Dr. Sinek's instinct was perfect. His was spot on, the measurement was great. He's done a few of these. Uh, don't be afraid if you are doing something like this to uh, to make sure you speak up and you have your voice heard because it's important. This is an important choice to, to figure out where this is going to be because you're going to live with this now the rest of your life. For here, when we will shave, if you see the bald spots, we will do like this. Okay? okay. But basically, here, number one. Okay. Yeah. From. Yeah. Here is number two. Here is number two. Here is number three. I think we will take more than 3,500 grams. Yeah. 3,500, 3,600. Okay. Wow, a, you have body hairs nice. also. I don't think so we need. Yeah. But if necessary, we will take. Okay. Operation will be like six hours, maybe eight hours. During the operation, you will be awake. So we're doing before and after photos. Actually, it's a pretty sweet studio. Much, much nicer rig than I have. Back. Should I just do a little model, thanks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your body to the wall, yeah. but your look... Uh, oh. So we wet my hair down, so it looks a bit like I'm a baby duck. Uh, and you can see how, especially when it's wet, you can see how thin it is, look at that. So I think I'm more nervous about the head shave than anything else. Who, who's my practitioner? What's your name? My name is Murat. Murat. Murat what? is the executioner today. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Terrifying. Yes. Do I get to start? Yes. Did I just hit it? <laughs> really? Yes. Really? Oh my god. Check this out. Oh my god. This is bizarre. I didn't know I got to do it. It's even better. 
Guys, I think we should just leave it like this. This is good. <laughs> this is a good look. Oh, really good. He wants to do it now. All right. All right. Thank you. The pro wants it. Good morning, Michael. Are you fun up? Yes. Oh, now you're seeing me. You missed when I had all the hair oh, no. five minutes ago. How do I look Let as a bald head? a good shape of hair, head, you know, your head Well, shape. I wonder. How do I, how's my bald head? Looks good. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I didn't go this route, though. You know, some guys just shave it and that's it. Yeah. Do I look like an Eastern European hitman? Because that's what I feel like. This is what my bald head looks like with multiple lighting and onlookers. Okay, so I'm about to go in. This is what I look like. Bald and look. And uh, I guess I'm in the chair for like eight hours. So this is gonna be quite an ordeal. Uh, wish me luck. All right, so this is my team of like 27 people to Every person gets one hair, and that's how they work. That's why they have thousands of people that work here. I think you guys should have those up for inspiration here. So tape those on the wall, so you guys can look at those for inspiration. You can see, you can look at those and go, that's the hair. That's the hair we're looking for. I think saline. Saline solution up there? Yes, it don't mean we're midway through, they've already removed the back, and now they're getting ready to implant the front. All right, I'm about halfway through, they've extracted all the hair from the back. Um, it was, the, the numbing process was really painful. They just give you a bunch of shots, like with uh, like insulin needles, like the really tiny hair, the like hair size, but I mean, there's 50 of them, and so it's, it's like, and in fact, you can sort of see, I think, you see this little line of red? I think that's where the shots were. But, uh, woo, Nelly. But once you get the shots, then you're good. Like, it doesn't hurt at all. Um, but uh, the shots were pretty brutal. I guess the hard part's over now. They're gonna plant the stuff back in, and, uh, you know, I'm gonna look like a million bucks. And that is 3,700 hairs from the back of my head that are gonna now go on the front of my head, which is kinda of cool. And these lovely ladies just spent the last, how long did that take? An hour? To hour, two yeah, hours? No, two to, hours. To separate, yeah, to separate, to separate every hair into those little containers. And then they load into this? Yes. Is that it's the implanter? Implanter, the other pen set we use it. This is extraction pen set. Okay. And so then these go in. Yeah, this is painless. Yeah. Oh, that's this thing, the slapper. Yeah. How do you plant them? Um, what, what, what tool? We use this one. So you pick up each individual, each one, yes, one and put it one. in. So they do that with these tools. They do it 3,700 times. They take all individual one at a time and then they will plant them one at a time and try to give me a nice looking hairline so that's cool we built a little inspiration wall here and then <laughs> these photos <laughs> that i can remind them they tell me that i'm gonna look just like that in six months but we'll see so now the artiste is in the room to uh help me get this hairline back so he's using a special tool to individually plant these hairs. This and is a sapphire blade. 3,700 times. So the doctor has come in and made the hairline. So he, he went in and did the important part. And now they're gonna fill in basically the, all the gaps. It's very time consuming, tedious work. They're doing a PRP injection now which is gonna help facilitate uh, growth. It'll help the uh, area heal, platelet-rich plasma. Well, I'm just finished, and uh, there's my new hairline. That's kind of cool. So we'll see how this comes in for uh, the next bit. I come back here tomorrow for a consultation. These guys have all been awesome helping. And uh, yeah, just trying to decompress I'll tell you more about it when I, when I can, <laughs> but uh, looks like we're done so far. It looks good. Checking in, I am about six or seven hours from the surgery. 
dozing in and out a lot. I'm still drugged up pretty substantially. I didn't get very much sleep the night before. So between those two things, that's kind of a recipe for dozing. Uh, they gave me this neck pillow like you'd get on a uh, airplane because you, really, you can't really rest back. Uh, you can't put your head on a pillow. So I'm not expecting this night to be this tremendous amount of sleep. I did come home and sleep for a few hours, kind of semi sat up. Uh, my body really needed it, but I'm having a hard time staying awake right now. They uh, were very organized. I mean, the place really runs like clockwork. But they have individually labeled bags for what kind of medicine you have to take, extensive directions. And, you know, I'm so happy tomorrow I just get to chill out at the hotel and and um, they'll, they'll take this bandage off, which is all the back, especially covering all the donor spots. Um, not gonna lie, it was painful. This is a painful surgery. Um, just the shots, the shots where they use to, to numb you, I think that was the worst um, physical, like medical experience I've ever had. It was just brutal. So basically it's like a little needle, little baby needle. I mean, an eighth of an inch or maybe a quarter inch that's, uh, that's about as thin as a hair but they have to give you 50 of them, you know? You can, I don't know if you can see here, you see these dots that are in front of the hairline? Those are all those shots and they're used to numb the space. So that really sucked. The procedure itself, you know, once you get numb, you know, I had an audio book on, I was just kind of clocking out, it was on YouTube a little bit, I had my earbuds in and that was fine. One thing I would suggest if you come here, there's an app called I Translate Voice and you can speak English and it will translate to Turkish and it really comes in handy. Uh, English is not a language that, uh, unless you're in a hotel, that a lot of Turkish people um, speak at all. So it's not you know, universal in that way. So it's nice to have this translation. You can just get some idea, especially if you're gonna be in a cab, you can say exactly where you wanna go and how you wanna travel and then just either show the guy the screen with the translation or um, have him listen to it because it translates into Turkish when you say it in English. It's cool. Anyway, that's the check-in. I'm gonna take my food that I just ordered. Uh, I ate it, stick it out there, and I think I'm gonna try to go to bed. It's probably 9.30 or so. So the doctor's office has given me all of these nice supplements, which are, I, I wanna say like four months worth of uh, supplements, shampoos and different supplements to promote hair growth and restoration. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to take this whole stack because I can't bring it in my carry-on and I'm not checking a bag for them. But I'm told that I can get the equivalent stuff on Amazon, so they're going to steer me the right way. Nevertheless, a really nice little perk. All right, here I am the day after. And uh, there's the top of my head. And I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, I can tell that there was, you know, almost 8,000 uh, pokes in my, in my head yesterday. Uh, it's still numb, like, so I can touch it here and I don't really feel anything. They tell me that's gonna be numb for like three days, which is uh, bueno as far as I'm concerned, because I should be home by the time it starts hurting like that. Um, yesterday was a tough day overall. It was a, a uh, it was painful. It was a, definitely a painful procedure. I'm excited, like you can, you can see that. I mean, this is the hairline, obviously. One thing about these hairlines is everyone thinks they should be lower than they really are. You wouldn't want your hairline so low because you'll look like someone from the Adams family. So they're gonna remove my bandage now. And so this is just a fun, another part. They, I'll tell you one thing about Turkish tape. It's very sticky as my arms and chest can attest. They don't have that same stick, non-stick. Ooh, boy. That feels weird. Oh, I feel the burning thing you're talking about. All right, so I am now without no. bandage. I've got very pink raw skin back there and it was oozing a lot on my pillow, uh, much to the chagrin of my hotel. But uh, they're gonna dry me up and look semi-normal. So this is kind of cool. Um, everything you see here is in Europe. This is Turkey. But on the other side of that bridge, it's Asia. So. Istanbul is halfway in Europe and halfway in Asia. This is just people screaming for business. Hanging out the window, screaming for business. Just one couple. 
and these guys are yelling. And they're serious about it. Look at this. Coming in hot. He's good, he's like, I got it. He knows where the wind is. Still coming in hot. All right, this is gonna be my last update uh, before I head back home. I've just checked out from my room and um, it's I'm like two days out-ish, day and a half out from my procedure. Uh, really only the first night was uncomfortable. You know, you've got a kind of a halo pillow on. But um, the other thing is you really get used to this look pretty quick. Um, you've got to be really careful with the implanted area. I had a, a hoodie kind of over and they freaked out a little bit. So certainly for the first 48 hours, you have to do exactly what they say and, and uh, make sure you take care of the donor area. But it's not too sore. It was fine. I walked around yesterday and did touristy things. Um, it's not bad at all. So I'm on the road to recovery, a road to healing. The, you know, I've got my little stubble growing in where my hair was before. So, um, and that is one thing you'll have to get used to is, you know, your hair is going to probably be kind of weird and maybe a little patchy for a while until the new hair uh, grows back. Because once it heals, the hair that's in there now that was in the back of your head, it's going to fall out. And then the new hair is going to grow. So the best thing you can do is have a lot of vitamin B. Uh, so I've got a product by Isogenics called Ionix that I'm going to be loading up on. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to be taking a lot of vitamin B supplements and taking care of the scalp as best I can. And then they say in a year I'll be, I'll be cranking. But even within like 10 days, you see a pretty big difference. So I'm excited. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the other side. Hopefully my travel is... It's okay, it hasn't been this whole trip, but hopefully this time will be all right, and I'll see you in the States. Hey, thanks for watching this. If you guys have any questions, hit me in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer every one of them.